Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. How to create t-shirt designs in seconds. I'm going to show you that today using a tool called Placeit. I've been using Placeit since the beginning of my print-on-demand journey. It was the first tool that I actually started to use. Um, really the very first tool in general. Even before I started to use upload tools or any other tools, I really started to use Placeit first. I didn't even do... Um, I didn't even use any research tools before that. No, I really started with Placeit. And the reason is that, uh, I don't know if you know Greg Gottfried's channel. He basically uh, proposed that tool on his channel. Um, he basically got me into the whole print-on-demand thing. I don't think he's very active anymore on YouTube, but he's got a lot of um, a lot of YouTube videos with or about print-on-demand, which have a lot of views. So he provides really good introductions into print-on-demand. And um, yeah, he got me into it. And I started to use Placeit, and I really loved Placeit. Most recently, I started to use Vexels and Canva, but I felt it was for me like a um, a journey that very much in the beginning I needed to create a base for my designs because what what Greg said in his videos that if you want to make consistent sales in print on demand, you need to have at least one thousand designs online, and he said that there shouldn't be obviously bad designs, there shouldn't be rubbish designs, they still need to be good designs. They don't need to be perfect, but at least you need to have good designs and he mentioned around 1,000 designs. Now that was, mm, that was, yeah, I think it was more than, no, it was nearly a year ago now that he made this video. So I believe today you might even need a, a little more than 1,000 designs because the competition is growing, more and more people are uploading and continuously adding to this stock of designs which is on the print-on-demand websites. So maybe it's rather around 1,200, 1,300 designs. And I know when you're just starting with print-on-demand, that number can be really overwhelming. But actually, I mean, I achieved the 1,000 designs fairly quickly. And I used a combination of a, um, a tool, which I also showed you in another video, which is called Wordswag. This app creates text-based designs, really good text-based designs, um, with a press of a button. So that only takes seconds. And I would say 20-25% of all designs that I sold were made in Wordswag. Now, a fair amount of other designs that I sold was made in Placeit. Even some of my early bestsellers, uh, which were in the uh, the veganism niche, yeah, that I created them here on Placeit. Now, Placeit always had an issue, and the issue was that you couldn't really resize your pictures or um, yeah, designs because I also upload to Amazon Merch and my design should be 4,500 by 5,400. And I was never sure how to do this in Placeit, but today I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I'm going to take you through the design process quickly because I really want to show you that you can create designs in seconds. I know that a few of you are struggling to create a lot of designs and you know that might not be an issue if you do it for as a hobby, but if you really want to earn some money with it, um, and really want to push your, really want to push your business forward, then I recommend you look into it. Something like Placeit, which for a beginner I recommend over um, Canva, because Placeit have from all the different design tools that I've seen, they have most um, most mockups or not not only mockups, they have most templates available that you can use to create your own designs, and it's fairly easy. Yes. I think Placeit is limited as well in terms of what you can do, but for a beginner, it is awesome. Really, it got me into it. It kept me motivated. It allowed me to understand that it is not that hard to create a thousand designs. Um, and let me show you. So first of all, you go to Canva to to Placeit. Yeah, it's not free, so you have to sign up. But if you break it down for the month, it's not expensive. Um, you go to designs here, and then you go to T-shirt designs. Now, you, they also have a logo maker, and there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to use logos for t-shirts as well. But the t-shirt design maker specifically has designs for t-shirts available. Now, I'm going to show you maybe this here at the um, at the example of this one here, Cats Before Guys. So you click on the template, it takes a few seconds to load because um, I think it's loading all the templates in and everything. Now the beauty um, of this tool is that 
you get a template already completely designed for t-shirts. Um, you can see it here. What you can then do is just simply, obviously you can't use them as they are. Yeah, you can't. Um, so you resize them, you know, you, you can change the font, for example, or even though I like these fonts. Um, and all you need to do to make them your own is to, for example, change the color yeah, of some of these. As you can see, you can change the color here of this heart as well, I believe. I mean, it actually makes sense that it's a red, um, a red heart, but I just want to show you what, what we can do here. Um, on the right hand side, then you can change the image. So it will automatically swap the image out. And if you can then find a new text or slogan, that's even better. But what you can also do is move that down here, move that text up. And then because I design mainly for white t-shirt designs, uh, or white, no, sorry, black backgrounds, um, you could set the background here as dark as well. When you download it, it will be transparent, but it allows you to see which elements you need to change so that it works for a dark t-shirt background. As you can see, you should really change the text font uh, color. And I'm going to do that, change it to white. Now you could also change it to orange, yeah, like the heart here. So we can select a orange color as well. I think that works even better. And then you could already download it, you know, if made it your own, um, ideally maybe make that text what I always found on Canva these uh, on Placeit designs is that the text it's a bit small. Yeah, when you when you see it on the mock-up, then um, it it looks a bit small. We'll make it a bit larger that it works out same size roughly. Yeah, and that's it. Then you can download it, and we're going to do that here. Downloads. It's processing the design, and by the way, they also have quite a few templates for the 4th of July, which is coming up, um, US Independence Day. So you can do that as well. That is obviously a trend which is going to start soon kicking off and that will be here to stay. So that will just come come back next year. Click to download. Oh, by the way, what I forgot to do, because I haven't used it for a while, need to change the background to transparent. You have to do that before you download. Otherwise, you have a dark background. So just download it again. And by the way, you can, um, they have under, under my downloads, you can always see all your downloads, right? So every design that you've downloaded or every banner, every video, every mock-up, you can see there and edit it. Yeah, so you can go back in, edit it. Um, it is really useful. It saves you a lot of time as well. So that has downloaded it, I suppose. Now we're having a look. Yeah, so what you can see is it has a size and that is the weird thing on Placeit and I don't really understand why they have it. They've got now a d design size of 3500 by 5600. Now what you can do, um, you cannot change this design size in the template because the design size decide, uh, de depends completely on the template here. What you can do, however, is to resize it afterwards. and. Place it, they have a free, they call it free image cropper. So what you can do, you can upload your image here. Uploaded that now. What you can then do is you change your design size to, let's say if you do Amazon Merge 4,500 by 5,400, which will then resize it. You can zoom in a little bit. You can center it, you know, and you can use these um, these squares here to um, to make sure it's centered. And I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to download it. I have to re-log in. So, and now it's processing the image and downloading it. Okay, what you can see here now is that this image now has a size of 4,500 by 5,400 and I can now upload it to, um, 
too too much by Amazon. Now nothing is stopping you to to, to upload, for example, a three thousand five hundred to five thousand by five thousand six hundred design as well, but it wouldn't work on Amazon Merge. Um, it is not great that all their templates or most of the templates have different sizes. Some templates have 4,500 by 5,400. Now, if you know a template works for you, you can always reuse it and you know that size, for example. Um, but then you are again, for example, in this template here, oops, that I had here, I'm, I'm a little bit limited in terms of the designs that I can use. Um, for some reason, not all designs work with every template. So yeah, I can look for other things here, like for example, for cat and some will come up, but then I find if I use a different template, for example, um, let's say a dog template, different animals will come up. I mean, I can probably also find dogs here, but um, yeah, I just found that different different uh, templates and graphics, they only show up on different um, temp different graphics here. They only show up on different templates within Canva, but um, it is a great tool, a really great tool, especially to start with, or if you want to just push out a lot of designs and you can make them your own. Um, now, these will never be like the super detailed designs that you can often find um, on Amazon Merch, you know, with different uh, arrows. I mean, you can do something here as well, but I think this design tool here, it's mainly for people who wanna, let's say in print on demand, wanna push out a lot of designs um, and, you know, just to create a base, especially in the beginning. And a lot of these two designs that are created here in um, Placeit, they are still selling. So they definitely sell. It's a different design style that you can achieve here compared to Vexus, for example. And, you know, I, I think if you're starting, if you're struggling to create designs, have a look at it. I really liked it. And um, I'm still using it, you know, from time to time. I might use it a little bit more in the future. And what I definitely use it for is to create logos and to create mockups for Etsy, for example, and to create logos for my yeah, print on demand business, um, my YouTube channel, and also all my um, thumbnails and everything I create in um, Placeit. What you can also do if you have, um, if you need to create banners for your print on demand shops, you can create them in here as well. And they also already, for example, if you go to, um, where is it? Where is it? Designs. Well, under banners, I think they, they've got already the, the right sizes. For example, if you do YouTube, they've got the correct size already um, in there for your YouTube channel or for your Instagram. If you have a print on demand fan page, for example, so you can you can just use it. Really useful tool. Let me know if you um, if you like it. If you're interested in it, you can click on the link in the description that will take you to place it. You can have a look at it if you like it or not. And um, yeah, today I just want to show you how you can create designs in seconds and how you can um, resize them in place it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.